and welcome to a brand new series onto my channel. Uh, it's called Back to Front, and as you can see, we have the 2015 Formula One World, uh, World Championship calendar up in front of us. And as as you can see, we're going to be driving as Lewis Hamilton in this um, dynamic weather, three lap races, and we're going to be starting from the back, and we're going to see. Well, basically how we can do, we've got three laps to get as high up the grid as we can on here and there. Um, so it should be, it should be quite, in, it should be quite interesting uh, at least. We will be running with a setup um, as we just retire from qualifying. Um, yeah, we will be running with a setup as Kimi Raikkonen has taken pole position. Felipe Nasa in third. Blimey. Wow, what a what a bit of a jumbled up grid that is. So Kimi Raikkonen, Rosberg, and Felipe Nasr is the top three. Then it's Vettel, Massa, Ricardo, Bottas, Ericsson up in eighth, Hulkenberg, Sainz, Maldonado just missed out. Blimey! Wow, Daniel Kvyat down in thirteenth place. And look, uh, yeah, the McLaren Hondas uh, are still sixteenth and seventeenth. So, as you can probably tell, this is a live commentary as well. I, I think the last time I did a live commentary on a video was a FIFA 14 video. I haven't done one with a F1 video, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, do remember to subscribe if you're new to the channel, and uh, leave a like if you want. I don't think we get many. I don't think I get that many likes, but uh, we'll we'll we will uh, we'll see anyway. Um, also. Uh, that's the grid, we don't need to see that. Remember to check out the Daniel Ricciardo career mode. Uh, I've still got Monaco to record. I am, I really just, <laughs> putting it off. Monaco is probably my worst track, uh, as we will see later on in this series. Um, so we've got five red lights, and we're away as I keep trying to shut Jeff up. And we've had a decent start. We've got Roberto Merry at least, so. I think we just dived up the inside. We've broken a bit too late. Ooh, we got very close to Roman Grosjean, who's making contact with us, banging side pods as we've gone skated around the outside of Grosjean. We've kind of detached from the mid pack a little bit as we've got to break late. Ah, the, the tail is swinging out a little bit as we've been, an illegal overtake on Maldonado. Where is he? Oh my God, where is Maldonado? I, d I don't know where he is. There he is. Wow. So we've dro we've dropped out the top ten and we'll. As we got stuck on Daniel Kvyat's car, we haven't received any damage from brushing the wall though. But we're miles away from the top nine now, so it's not. Uh, this first race hasn't really gone to plan. Um, ooh, that's a dive at the inside of Kvyat. He's still there on the outside. He's done us. He's got good traction coming out of there, but we're going to get in the slipstream, and we're going to be brave. We're gonna, hopefully, we're going to have enough speed to go around the outside. Yeah, we do try and keep it within the track limits as well and uh, we've now got to he head off after the two Toro Rosso boys so I'm trying to look at the mini, mini map at the same time as we come into the, uh, come into the third sector so we've got Sainz just ahead of us in 11th for Stappen in 10th I wonder if Felipe Nasr will be able to hold off Sebastian Vettel and get a podium in the Sauber as uh, we go up the inside of Sainz Raikkonen, Raikkonen still leads this race at least so if he can, the more he can nick points off Nico Rosberg, the better. So we should be able to enrich for the rest of this race now. And this Mercedes has got so much more pace, so much more grip than uh, than the Red Bull that I'm driving in career mode. I mean, I really love the way that, that, that the 2015 Red Bull uh, handles and everything. I really, f you know, I've, that's the car I've driven the most. Uh, I've arguably driven the most in this game because I did a, I did a career mode before my Daniel Ricciardo one. I did it as Daniel Kvyat. Um, oh, <laughs> we got so close to Verstappen. We kind of pulled off a Verstappen move on Verstappen. But we're now up into the points. We're heading off after Marcus Ericsson in the Sauber, who, in comparison to his teammate, is probably not doing as well. And I think, oh, Nico Rosberg's leading this race. I've just looked in the mini map. He's got. I think he's just passed Kimi Raikkonen. So. Kimmy not doing us any favours then it would seem so far in this race. Australia, it's not one of my better tracks. The first few races, uh, the first three races uh, are some of my weaker tracks. So although we do, although I'm not that amazing around China, 
I seem to have quite a good record there, so hopefully we can do something at China. That, but we have gone purple on that lap, so we are the quickest car out on track. Kimi Raikkonen still all over the back of Nico Rosberg by the looks of it. Oh, what am I on about? Oh yeah, yeah, I am right. That's right. <laughs> oh dear. But we have really caught up to these cars, so maybe we could. Oh god, we've understeered wide through there. That's desperate. It's the last lap now. With there's a huge train of cars leading up to about fifth place. As we're just going to stick our nose in up the inside of Marcus Ericsson. We've got the traction, uh, which will now we've gone around the outside, which will now become the inside. We've got Hulkenberg, uh, Daniel Ricciardo ahead of us. I'm trying to see. And for, oh, Nasr's dropped to sixth, and we've got Bottas just ahead of him. So I think sixth is the best we're going to be able to get in this race. But it's going to be touch and go. If we get a good run through the chicane, Ericsson's nowhere near us. Oh, Hulkenberg's gone slow through the chicane. We couldn't take as much speed as we wanted to. We want to get to the inside so we can dive up the inside of a couple of these cars. Are we going to go up the inside of Daniel Ricciardo? No, we're not. We might, we might only get seventh in this race. I'm aiming to get at least one of them if we can get a good run. I'm just going to dive it up the inside of Ricciardo. Oh, we've hit him. We've hit him. I'm so sorry, Daniel. And we've let Hulkenberg back through. And now we've got Ericsson trying to go around us. Nico Rosberg's won the race. We've got DRS, but we completely mucked that up. And probably should have le left it to the end. Lewis is happy. I've never seen Lewis Hamilton so happy to get uh, P8 in his life. Four points. Uh, it could have been a lot better than that. Uh, Felipe Nasser got, got away with it. But, um, and even, look at that, even uh, Nico Rosberg. Uh, beat our time so we didn't even set the fastest lap onwards to the next race looks like it could rain in this qualifying session maybe it will maybe maybe we'll get a bit of a jumbled up uh, another bit of a jumbled up grid um, I am hoping we can have a bit of a better result Rosberg's taken pole this time Vettel second Bottas third Kimi Raikkonen only fourth this time Massa fifth Kvyat much better in sixth Ricardo seventh Maldonado up in eighth with Grosjean ninth and Verstappen tenth so the Saubers not looking like they've got much pace here this weekend Merry out qualifies Will Stevens as well please don't be raining <laughs> please don't be raining I think we've got a chance I think we've got a chance again, a, a better result than we did last time, but I hope it's dry. So we're just wa waiting for the loading screen, the moment of truth. Oh god, I knew it! I knew it was going to rain. We've got heavy, heavy rain, and the thing is, it's stormy. Oh dear. Uh, let's load our setup, which is going to be useless, because I think it's one warm wings, so... We're going to struggle in the corners. As I try and keep Jeff quiet. And we're away. We haven't had as, as good a start. But it's a long run to the first corner here. So we've been careful not to swipe uh, Will Stevens. Uh, just wipe him out of the race. Like it and have much impact on the result. Oh, we're, we're so late on the break. So we've collided with Roman Grosjean. Locked up a little bit. We've had a very good start. We'll just get up the inside of Daniel Ricciardo. As uh, I think Massa and Raikkonen bang tyres, they're getting very close behind Sebastian Vettel, but we've had a brilliant start here, as the car it feels so heavy and understeery at the moment, and we're a little bit later on the brakes, we've cut the corner a little bit, just to give some space, and uh, Massa and uh, Roken banging tyres, I, I think again on the exit of that corner, but we're up to fourth already, so is that Valtteri Bottas up to second place, oh, back end does not want to stick at all. As we've caught up to Sebastian Vettel. Come on, Sebastian, you're the champion of champions. Come on. As we're just going to take it up the inside, it's been a very good first lap. I, I, I do feel like I'm stronger in Malaysia as we can purple through the middle sector. Stronger in Malaysia than I am in Australia as we haven't taken the most ideal line through there. I think Vettel was poking his nose up the inside as well. I couldn't quite see. Can we take it flat in the work? Yes, we can. We're on the podium, we're on the podium, but uh, Nico Rosberg does lead this race at the moment. Rosberg sits a 52-6, we've, we've set a 54-8. Can we get Bottas up into here? It'd be a brave move. We're going to flick to the inside. Oh, he's left us the room. He has left us the room. We didn't make contact with him. It looked like we were going to, but we're up into second place. Next up is our teammate, 
and uh, arch rival Nico Rosberg. Part of the S's. Oh, Fishtail did a little bit going through uh, just on the exit there. Oh, this is these these uh, conditions are so difficult. I, I don't think I, we haven't had a wet race, a fully wet race uh, in the Daniel Ricciardo career mode. Um, we had Inters in Austra in China, uh, if I recall, because we won that race with str a great strategic uh, prowess. I think we have caught Rosberg. I think I think we have caught up to Rosberg. I don't know if we're going to be able to get him on this final lap. Rosberg sits at 47.4. Yeah, we do. We we uh, we go five tenths of a second quicker than Nico Rosberg, and we are a lot quicker into that first corner than our teammate. I just don't know where we're going to make up the time. We don't have enough laps. As I think I've outbraked ourselves a little bit. Yeah, we have. Oh dear. Plan to do these in uh, like segments of two, so two races per episode. We'll just see where we where we get. We'll see see how well we do. <laughs> Sweat load is so activated. We have been a lot slower on this lap. The gap to Rosberg 2.1 seconds. We're going to need a, an absolutely incredible final sector if we're to beat him as the back end is just fishtailing all over the place. We're, we're on the right line. As we've now outbraked ourselves again. Just trying to find a little bit of time to pose an attack to Rosberg. But it looks like we're going to have to settle for second place. Bottas is nowhere to be seen. Back in third. Okay, Rosberg's going to take his second win in succession. We are going to take our first podium though. We started last, it's taken us three laps to get to second. So what a great result that is for us. Rosberg seems extremely happy with the work that he's done today. Valtteri Bottas joined us up on the podium. So a fin on the podium in the first two races. Not bad going. Had it have been dry though, I feel like we could have won that race. Had it have been dry. But we'll never know. We'll never know. Uh, the next two races in the next episode will be China and Bahrain. China, that could go either way. It really could go either way. I think we've got the long back straight in China. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. The start's going to be very interesting because it's a very difficult first sector. Uh, Bahrain, uh, the aim is definitely to try and win in Bahrain. It's one of my strongest tracks. Vettel was fourth. Kimi Raikkonen was fifth. Uh, Felipe Massa 6th, Daniel Ricciardo 7th, Carlos Sainz 8th, Hulkenberg up to 9th, Maldonado gets points in 10th, Daniel Kvyat uh, got a 2 second penalty, what did he do? Had a collision with Grosjean on lap 1, I have a feeling this has something to do with us, so I'm looking, that Grosjean's gone up the inside, he's turned out, oh, okay, I presume Oh dear, uh, that, was, that was us, but then it's not our fault that the Kvyat's tur clearly turning into Grosjean. The Drivers' Championship, we're up to fifth. Uh, Nico Rosberg leads the way with 50 points, so we're, in we're over a race win behind Rosberg already. In the Constructors, we do, uh, as Mercedes, we lead the way. Uh, Rosberg's got a, most of them points. Sauber up in fourth place. So I'm going to leave it there. Uh, next time... Uh, we will be in China and Bahrain, as I've already said. So do remember to subscribe, leave a like, comment, share it, uh, whatever. And until next time, guys, I will see you around. Goodbye. Nice to be back, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, where are you from?